You may be familiar with HGTV's show, Tiny House, Big Living. As Taylor Hicks shows you, one Monroe County Commissioner wants to get people on board so he can bring luxury tiny homes to the area. Monroe County Commissioner George Amami plans to have 20 tiny homes built here on Smith Road. Now, I spoke with people who say that they're super excited for the idea, and some people say that they have concerns. There's nowhere to rent in Forsyth. Which is why Forsyth native Joel Harbin purchased a tiny home. And I happened to come across this house and was able to um, afford to buy it and figure all the logistics out for that. So it was really um, kind of a lifesaver for me. Harbin says his tiny home was the more affordable option, but in Monroe County, none of them are available to rent out. Monroe County has a terrible deficiency of rental property. This is why County Commissioner Georgia Mommy would like to have 20 luxury tiny homes built on Smith Road, available for people to rent. They're going to be built with, you know, the same quality materials that you might see in a four or $500,000 house. So um, just on a small scale. Amami owns the land and all homes would be managed by his realtor company, The Brokery. He says the company will be in charge of the house upkeep and maintenance. It would be really cool to create a community um, where people that are into the tiny home thing um, could, you know, uh, live together and kind of enjoy one of those companies. Kathy Sheets moved to Monroe County in April. She says her and her husband originally had some concerns about a mommy's idea. Like I said, when we first you know heard about George's plan, we thought it might would um, change some type of zoning that would allow cookie cutter subdivision. Sheets also says they thought the tiny homes were available for anyone to rent out night by night. Since Amami owns the land that the tiny homes will be built on, this will be residential zoning and not a subdivision. Amami says these homes will be available to rent long term. And I, don't know, I think after hearing more of his vision and his plan, you know, I think I'm okay with it. I think um, his land, if that works for him, you know, let him do it. On December 28th, the city will decide whether or not to move forward with this plan. In Monroe County, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. Amami hasn't decided yet on how much the homes will go for. He is still putting together budgets for construction.